jump inside the director interface and take a look at how the uh, how the application um, is laid out. So I've got a director 11.5 loaded up here on my uh, Macintosh, and essentially the nomenclature inside of director is name, as in uh, as like your you know Stanley Kubrick, uh, David Fincher, uh, Steven Spielberg, and you're creating a movie for yourself, be it an interactive project, a game, or what have you, and you're going to need certain items for this movie to make it work. So they've decided to name these components, these main components of your, uh, of your interface in respect to how it would be if you were a, um, say, big motion picture director. So all the elements that you're using to make your movie, um, your cast members essentially are, you know, your, your audio, your video, your text, your graphics. Those are housed down here at the bottom where we see a cast. And anything that's going to compose in um, graphics and that you're going to import in to make up your movie are going to show up down here inside of your cast down here at the bottom. Now you can have an internal cast embedded in Director or you can have an external cast linked from the outside another file. But uh, those are going to be housed here and that's what it's called. It's called a cast. That houses all your elements that you're going to bring in from the, um, from the outside or some internal elements you might have created inside of Director as well. Now, the next thing you have here is where basically everything is going to show up. So when we author the program, this is what we're going to see inside of this bounding area here, this white box, is where our published material is going to lay. So that's basically our movie. Now, um, or our stage, pardon me, it's our stage. So, you know, everything that we see as a director, everything that we create, that's going to be, that's going to show up on our stage menu, this wide area here. So anything outside this bounding area is obviously going to fall outside the stage. That's not going to be published, so we can shrink that out, anything out here. It wouldn't anything inside the bounding, the wide area, that's going to be published out. So we can pull that up as well. We also have some tabs up here, so our property inspector. So anything that we have selected, on our stage, the property inspector is going to give us information about that particular object. If we select on the stage itself, it will give us information about the movie. So if we wanted to pull off our, um, our guides and our grids, modify these, make these visible, invisible for our, um, for our guides, um, we have these options here that we can turn these off, turn these on. Um, you can pull in your guides if you want to, just click and drag will show up. You can drag them just like any, uh, any other Adobe application. Um, remove them all, take them out, depending on what you want to, um, what you want to do. The Movie tab uh, determines the stage size that you have inside of Director. So if you want a little bit smaller um, stage size, you can modify that out. Or if, you want a, um, or if you want a larger stage size, you just click on this white area here, clicking off of these sprites. And I go into the drop down for stage size, and I can decide what uh, what particular size of the movie that I want to uh, I want to pull off here. Display templates are something we're going to get into a little bit later. That's more how the window is going to function inside of Director. So that's not our immediate concern um, with how um, how the interface is going to work out for us. Next up is the score. Now there's two sections of this of the score that we have in Sound Director. It can be modified by a little button up here um, that says Hide Show Effects Channels. It's two parts. So if we click this on, we can basically see that we've got a top half and a bottom half. The top half is where you can apply your frame scripts, adjust the tempo, um, add some audio channels in here. That's all in this top half section. Um, once we hide that, we essentially see the bottom half inside of Director. Now how Director works is the opposite from really every other application that you've seen. What happens is I've got a text element here and a background element. This background is at the very top. You would assume, since it's at the top of our channels located down here, each one of these numbers are referred to as channels, you would assume it would be at the top, but it's not. So if I move that background down here to the bottom and I have my text element, you know, that's going to change the order. So I can just click and drag, modify it however I want. That background is actually behind everything, so the bottom layer 
even though it is actually at the top. I've got the top channel. If I want to move that back to two, I could, or one, you know, what have you. You can have those right across to each other. You can move them, whatever. Um, it's, uh, it's really up to you. But as I, I drag these across inside of my movie, um, I can essentially adjust the layers inside of my document. Um, over here to the left hand side we have the tools basically. These are some basic tool formats. You've got your drop down boxes, some check boxes here, some basic shape tools, some text tools. Typically you're going to use other items inside of Director to pull some of these items off here. Um, up at the top you have your basic, um, basic controls which we'll look at a little bit later and your file menu up here at the top. So that's essentially your main components that you're going to look at inside of Director. Your uh, stage over here to the right is where everything is going to be published. Um, over to the left is your score where you're laying out your timing and dividing in your movie into different sections with markers. And down here at the bottom you have your cast which essentially you're going to house all the elements that's going to make up the Director movie. So that's how Director is laid out. So you've got a lot of real estate here to work with, and that's how the interface is, uh, how you approach the interface design inside of Director.